I first met Stigma Stevie when I was walking to the bus stop. I was passing this guy I like to call Evil Ed, because he sits on the front porch all day and gives people a hard time. Hey Sam, what's with the jacket? This time, he yelled out that I was dressed like a boy. That's when Stigma Stevie appeared. Hey, I'm Stigma Stevie and I'm calling out Stigma. Huh? Sam can wear what she wants, yo. Yeah, they're just clothes. Uh, so and so, I think just don't say good. The second time I met Stevie was at the hospital. The doctor wasn't listening to me. She assumed I was just attention-seeking because she knew I'd self-armed before. Stevie appeared and said, Hey, I'm Stigma Stevie and I'm calling out Stigma there. Just because Sam has mental health challenges, it doesn't mean she doesn't deserve compassion. The doctor was surprised to see Stevie, but she took the point, I think. The third time was when my science teacher called me a space cadet for zoning out in class. I was really tired after selling fried chicken and chips till midnight. I just sat and waited for Stevie to appear that time. Hey, I'm Stigma Stevie and I'm calling out Stigma. Sam's juggling a part-time job to help her mum pay the rent. She's tired, okay? The next time I saw Stigma Stevie was a bit unexpected. One day I was passing Evil Ed and he made a comment about my haircut. And I said, I don't care what you think, you're just a lazy drunk. Hey, I'm Stigma Stevie and I'm calling out Stigma. Stevie looked really tired and instead of explaining just said, Why do you think Ed drinks? He's got nothing better to do. Why do you think that is? And I shrugged. Look, Ed had an accident that's prevented him from working. Since then, he's struggling with his mental health and addiction. Right, Ed? Mm. Stevie sounded a bit upset now, so I asked, Are you okay? I'm just so tired of this. There's only one of me and I've got to call out stigma day in, day out. In families, in the supermarket, in schools, in workplaces, it's everywhere. I seriously just need some help. How would we do that? Don't assume. Be curious. Ask people more questions and then listen respectfully. Finally, Ed decided to speak. He turned to me. So why do you dress in boys' clothes? I don't see them as boys' clothes. They're just baggy and more comfortable. Fair enough. I felt better after that and realised there were heaps of questions I could ask Evil Ed about his injury and whether he misses work and what he thinks about living in the street. Sorry, Ed, for what I said. Me too. We turned to Stevie and they were gone. After that, Ed and I always said hi when I passed. Hi, Sam. And if I ever heard any stigma going on, I'd wait a second to see if Stevie showed up. But if they didn't, I'd just say, hey. I'm Sam, and I'm calling out stigma.